Hi, for my passion project, I wanted to learn about different Disney rides. So, um, some of the rides that we will be learning about are Big Thunder Mountain Rail Railroad, Expedition Everest, It's a Small World, Kalai River Rapids, Mission Space, Rock and Roller Coaster, Seven Dwarves Mine Train, Soren, Splash Mountain, Test Track, Tomorrowland Speedway, Toy Story Midway Mania, and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. So, all of the rides will be located under here. And these are the four different parks, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. So first, let's go to Magic Kingdom. And under there is Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin, Tomorrowland Speedway, Splash Mountain, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, It's a Small World, and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So let's start with Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin. So, Buzz Lightyear is a spin-around ride. You, like, go in this, like, glow-in-the-dark place, and you're shooting at targets. Um, lots of people say this is a fun ride. Lots of kids will enjoy it. It's very tame, and it is a solid ride. And this is found at Magic Kingdom. Um, I know lots of people love this ride, and I've been on this ride before, so I love it, too. So... Um, the next ride is Tomorrowland Speedway. This is one of my personal favorites. It is a, um, it's a speedway where you get put in like a small little race car and you get to drive it on your own. There's a certain age, but it's like kids driving this own little race car. Um, this is one of my favorites, as I said already. Um, people say it's really good for a kid and loads of fun, and I can assure you those are both true. And this ride is also found at Magic Kingdom. Then we have Splash Mountain. Um, this one's usually closed in the winter, so if you want to do this one, I recommend going in, like, summer or fall. Um, but this is, like, a log-style ride that, um, combines shoots and and animatronics there's one big drop at the end and you're gonna get splashed of course Pro you're probably gonna get splashed and then the animatronics basically the whole ride is just a little ride like on a soft little river and then there's all these animatronics and stuff and then all of a sudden you just go down a big chute um people say the animatronics is a cute show they loved it it's awesome fun and wet and lots of people say this is their favorite ride. Also found at Magic Kingdom. Then we have Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Um, this is one of the newer rides at Disney. But this is, a uh, you get in a mine train. It's a really friendly roller coaster. And it takes you through a musical mine, sort of like Splash Mountain. There's just, a uh, there's not as much of it, but there's little, like, animatronics and cool little things in there that you go through, like, in their mind. Lots of people say it's a quick and smooth roller coaster. It's very family-friendly. I recommend it for the whole family. And it's one of their favorite roller coasters, again, found at Magic Kingdom. Then it's, there's, it's a small world. I know some people find it annoying, but it's just a fun classic ride. But it's an old mill boat ride with over 300 audio dows from over the world singing It's a Small World. And you go through, and it's just like a quick glimpse at every, not every country, but they have most of the countries in there. Um, people say it is a catchy song. Other people I know say the song gets annoying, so that's up to you. It's not that annoying to me, but lots of people say they enjoyed every minute. A good classic, and it's really good for kids. This ride's also located at Magic Kingdom. And last one for Magic Kingdom, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This is another roller coaster ride, and it is also an outdoor mine train roller coaster, like um, the 7D ride. Um, people say that this is a real cra classic, and it has an Old West setting. This is more like Old West, Old West Southern compared to the 7D mine train. Um, they say it's really old style. This is a fast roller coaster, but for kids, tell them it is not scary at all. And this ride, that was our last ride located in Magic Kingdom. Now we have two rides at Animal Kingdom, Expedition, 
Expedition Everest and Kalai River Rapids. Um, there's more rides than this, but these are the ones I picked. Again, that was the same for Magic Kingdom. Um, but this is an outdoor roller coaster, and this is a thrill ride for the through the Himalayas. So it's kids who really like roller coasters and stuff, yeah, but kids who really don't like it, I don't recommend it for them, but it's really fun for me, and I don't like roller coasters that much, but I try. I tried it, and this is one of my favorite roller coasters. Um, people think this ride's sensational. Uh, most everybody that I see online rates it five stars. Lots of people call it the best ride, and it has a great storyline to it. You see the Yeti in there, which is based off of the Yeti story, or Bigfoot, as you call it. So, it's a lot. It's really fun when you get in there. I love the storyline to it, too. And now this is one of our ones located at Animal Kingdom. And for our last one located here is Clyde River Rapids. Um, I have not been on this ride. I hear lots of people like it, though. It's a rip-roaring river raft. Um, takes you on a tour through a lush jungle landscape. So I can't tell you much about this, but people say it's so much fun. Go you're going to get soaked no matter what. Perfect for a hot day and just loved it. Again, this was our last ride for Animal Kingdom. Now Hollywood Studios, we have Rock and Roller Coaster. Um, that's also one of my favorite roller coasters in Toy Store Midway Mania, which is a great game for everybody. So let's take a look at Rock and Roller Coaster. This is an extreme coaster. Again, if kids don't really like roller coasters, it's not the best one for them. Um, but this is a roller coaster inspired by Aerosmith. People say it's a must do, it's super fast and amazing. This ride you can find at Hollywood Studios. And then the last, Toy, Toy Story Midway Mania. So, I love this ride. It's great to do with the family. It's a 4D shooting ride featuring the Toy Story characters. Even if you don't like Toy Story that much, it's a great ride. People say, unlike anything else, keep on going. Usually, this ride has like hour waits, but I'll tell you, it is worth the wait. I love this ride. And people also say this is a great ride. Again, you can find that at um, Hollywood Studios. Now we have Epcot, which will feature Mission Space, Soren, and Test Track. Soren and Test Track are one of my favorites also. Um, even my parents love them, but I've never been on Mission Space either, so I don't have much to say about this one, but Mission Space is a shuttle simulator, which will recruit where um, you'll be recruited and shoot up to Mars in a four-man crew. People say it's actually like space travel. It takes your breath away and awe-inspiring. This ride you can find at Epcot. And then we have Soren. Um, Soren is a flight simulator that guess that guess that lifts guests into a hang glider. So you go on a trip through like California and it's actually really cool. It's a big projector and it seems like you're flying and can see all over California. Um, people say this is a must ride. Families love it and super fun. And I can sh assure you all of those are true. Again, you can find this at Epcot. And our last one's Test Track. This will be the last um, ride we talk about. So Test Track is where you get to test cars. It is not like Speedway. Speedway you get a ride, ride in the car. This one you do not. It is all controlled. You don't need to do anything. So once you are done with the simulating, there's a simulating part, then you'll go on a high speed drive that gets up to like 50 miles an hour. And people say this is a must do. Wow. Thrill Seeker loved and loved it. <laughs> you can find this ride at Epcot. I hope you will want to go to Disney and try out all of these rides. And remember, this is not it. There's way more rides. And you can find my um, site at DisneyWorldRidesAreAwesome.Weebly.com. So thanks for watching. Bye.